Today's the day that I'm going to film my marvelous Dolls Kill haul. So if you want to see what wonderful pieces I've picked up over the last few months, keep watching. I'm Evelina Demore, and if you know me, you know that I love shopping. I love fashion, and I've recently discovered some really cool brands that are on Dolls Kill, and I wanted to share all the items that I've purchased with you guys. Can we just start with this lip color that I'm wearing? So this is the first color that I've got from Sugar Pill. Cute packaging. And the color is called Hijinx. This is literally the first time that I've worn it, so I can't really say if I like it or not, but I love the color and I love the smell. Okay, let's get into the clothing, shoes, and accessories. So I don't have too many hats in my wardrobe, but this one took my fancy, and I'm still not sure if I like it. I did wear it in the last video that hit my channel, which was the Malefic Clothing Haul. And I don't know if I said it in that video, but I felt like it made me look like a gothic train driver. <laughs> It's kind of cute. So this is called the Smooth Operator Boy Baker Hat. <laughs> and it's kind of floppy. I think that might be why I don't like it. I think I prefer a little bit more stiffness in the, the shape of my hats, but it's super cute. It's got this little gold detail here and some nice rope detail. And when I don't feel like doing my hair, <laughs> this looks quite cool. Doo -doo. <laughs> I couldn't resist. <laughs> I wanted to try filming something in my new filming area, which is my photography room slash the kids <laughs> playroom. It's probably the worst day to do that. As you can hear, Yvonne is outside working magic on our front yard. And oh my god, is he noisy. <laughs> Sorry. The next thing I got is this adorable coffin bag by Widow. I think it's actually a sub-brand of Dolls Kill themselves. Because the only place that you can find this brand is on Dolls Kill. What I love about this is the black embroidery. I love this kind of studding detail. I do that a lot on my bags. And what I find really versatile is that it's got the option to wear it as a backpack as well. Sometimes if I'm going out with both kids, I find this a little easier because then I've got two free hands rather than holding onto my purse with one arm, which is usually how I wear my bags. Another thing worth mentioning about this is that it wasn't dear and that the hardware on this bag is really good value. They've got their own little custom triangular zipper pull there, which is really sturdy. Try to open it up so you can see. It has a somewhat red lining. They say it's blood red, I say it's maroon. But hey, <laughs> potato, potato. The only thing I don't like about it is that it doesn't open up very much. I can't fit my coffin wallet inside here. I could definitely fit a smaller wallet, but it's just a little hard to get into and the zipper kind of scratches me. You're kind of limited to the coffin shape as it is. I know that all too well. <laughs> Apart from those little issues, I absolutely love this. Just today, four new items came from Dolls Kill, and it was from the brand called Kiki Ricky. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Never heard of this brand before, and God, am I in love with the items that I've got. There's almost no point showing you this item as I'm doing it right now, because it's so detailed and intricate, it's not going to do it justice. So I will film a little bit of footage so you can see me wearing it. But it has this lovely lace detail. It's so open on the boobs. I only got small boobs, but it hardly covered my nipples, so I'm going to have to get some of that magic Hollywood tape um, to kind of keep everything in place. And what I love about this is just the length. It is completely sheer, and it's got those double thigh splits that I absolutely love. I have a lot of skirts that do that. This is just damn sexy. I don't know if I would wear it as negligee. If I was like Lady Gaga and I was going to a crazy opening, I would probably have the balls to wear like a nice pair of high-waisted um, knickers underneath and a black bra. Or maybe no bra, just, you know, little pasties or something and wear this out. But it's not something you can wear down to the shops, obviously, when you're buying milk. I got a small in that because I wanted it to be absolutely tight and I knew from looking at the photo that it was going to be stretchy as well. I will speak a little bit about sizes and how they differ from each brand as well, just in case you're interested in getting the same item. I've been looking for a dress like that forever, and as soon as I saw it, I was like, thank you, Lord, Jesus Christ. This next dress is also by Kiki Ricky. Kiki Ricky? I don't know. Fuck, I hate when I don't know how to say names. I'm literally putting it in the right way now because I just tried it on and it just arrived. But I wanted to include it in this haul today. Now it looked really cute in the photo. I'm not sure if I dig it too much. It's got like a high neck, but it comes across a little sporty. It's just a really nice, plain, long sleeve, bodycon, kind of stretchy dress. I got a medium in this as I wanted it to be a little bit more comfortable, but it has a zipper down the front. And when you open it up, it feels more like a jacket, so I think I would wear it done up, but it doesn't look the way I was expecting it to. Will I wear it? Absolutely. I probably just need to jazz it up with a few accessories. 
I've been eyeing a vinyl skirt forever and I just didn't know honestly if I had the body to pull it off and I've been buying most things in mediums these days because it just seems the cuts are so small not just on Dolls Kill but Disturbia and Killstar everything is so small so I seem to just go for a medium now but I knew that this kind of thing is it has to be tight if it's not crazy tight it's not gonna look any good. So I went for a small and I'm really glad that I did because it fits perfectly. And it's literally just a strip of vinyl. It doesn't even have a seam on the end. It's so nice. And when I tried this on this morning, I paired it with this cut midriff Guns N' Roses shirt that I've got. It's got all these like tears through it. It's, it's so rebellious, I love it. And it's like high-end rock and roll. I love it, love it, love it. So if you've got the confidence to try one of these, this one is phenomenal. And I think it was only like $20. Everything that is still available on the Dolls Kill website at the time of me finally making this video, I will put in the link down below. So if you're interested, just have a read through that. And I will also timestamp it. So if you want to come back and say, hey, I'm just interested in that skirt, you can click down below so you can easily find that item. I was looking for the fourth item. I'm like, I'm sure I bought four things from Dolls Kill and I'm wearing it. Okay, so this is probably my favorite dress. I got a medium in this and I'm really glad that I did because it is tight, but it's more like a wintry dress. It's a little thicker and it's high on the neck. I'm already starting to feel a little hot, but this with some stockings and a nice leather jacket, little necklace, like the one that I'm wearing, which is also from Dolls Kill. Mm, beautiful. It's a very simple piece, but I feel like I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe. And again, this was also by that same brand that I can't pronounce. <laughs> This whole video is mainly going to be on three brands from Dolls Kill and those being House of Widow, Current Mood and Kiki Ricky. This next one I'm about to show you is by Current Mood and I think this was one of the first purchases fucking immortal <laughs> that I got from them and that's when I found out how small their cuts were. A lot of you guys call me petite. I can get into it, it's just it's squishing under the underarms, it bulges. I should have definitely got a medium in this so keep that in mind if you are similar to my measurements. I might actually put my measurements for bust waist and hips so you can kind of reference that if you decide to buy any of these yourself. So I've watched this a few times and none of the crystals have come off which is uh, really important because I hate when that happens in shirts. It's just a nice stretchy material, long sleeve, and it does have a high-waisted cut. It looks cute on, I think it would have looked better, more flattering in a medium, but <laughs> I'll work around it and I still really like that. House of Widow are killing it at the moment. They have so much cool stuff. And you guys know that one of my favorite brands is Killstar, but Widow is close second. And if they keep releasing this much awesome clothing so quickly as well, it's like every two months there's new items, new items, very much like Killstar as well. We might have one of my new favorites. So I took some really nice Instagram photos. I will put them up to show you this skirt. And again, thinking that smalls don't seem to be working for me anymore. I got a medium. I should have got a small in this one. It needs to be really tight. I wasn't sure if it was going to be stretchy and I, I bought so many skirts recently that were just too small. And I sent them back and even the medium was a touch too small. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? So I got a medium. When I wore this, I had to peg the back of it. So I will have to have this taken in. What I love about this, you can see that you can see my hand. So the side panel is actually sheer. The bottom has this lovely cut where it goes into garters. Look at that. I just... <laughs> I love that it's built into the skirt. It is so sexy. It reminds me of something that Dita Von Teese would wear. And I don't feel that any other brand has really gone that like high-end, sexy, classy. Even Killstar, I don't think they've done anything yet like this. Perhaps that's why I'm loving House of Widow so much because they've just kind of filled this little gap in sexy goth fashion. This could be my favorite item. I sadly, I don't think it's on their website anymore. My bestie Lisa went to buy one this morning and she was going to buy a small so we could swap. She's a little bit bigger than me. Tiny, tiny, tiny bit. I'm like, yes, get the small and I'll send you mine and then I will be perfect. So I'm sorry if you love it and I can't get it anymore. <laughs> Next up is a graphic tee and fuck am I loving the cut of this. So this shirt is by Mortis Viventi. It shows a lovely drawing. It might be an etching, I don't know. I can't pinpoint what style it is, but I just love it. And at the very bottom, you've got the devil, a very high quality print. And what I love about it is that it's such a big cut. Normally, I really like wearing really tight baby doll shirts, but oh, they're just, this days, like today, I've got my period and I feel bloated and I don't wanna wear really tight shit. So one of these with a pair of tights and some cool boots, works wonderfully. It's really made me rethink all of the t-shirts that I've got <laughs> in my wardrobe. I'm like, these are just 
fucking too small. So this is the way of the future. The brand has a lot of other really cool images on t-shirts as well, so go and check them out. This skirt I'm in love with. It is pleather. It is by Current Mood. It is so fucking sexy. It is too small. <laughs> and this is the one where I bought the medium. I bought the medium, but this fits like an extra small. I probably need to lose like two kilos and then I can get into it. And when I wore it, I'll be real with you, I could not do up the back, so I'm wearing it like that. <laughs> <laughs> which is not ideal, but if I wore it in winter with a really big jacket like the one I'm about to show you You could get away with it. It just sucks because I love it so much I've always wanted a pleating kind of skirt. The D-rings are a little edgy. It's a little bit fetishy It reminds me of Nancy from the craft. I love it. It's just too small This next one is by Widow. It's a size medium and it is called the spade pleated mini skirt I fucked it up trying to iron it you can see that big mark on the front there. It's like there was something on my iron. And then when the iron heated up, it transferred onto the skirt. I'm like, <clears throat> it kind of arrived not perfectly ironed. As you can see that pleat there it was kind of sitting a bit funny. And I wanted it to be perfect <laughs> for, for my Instagram photo. I could have just photoshopped it fucking out. And I ended up ruining this brand new skirt. It's pretty cool. It's got suspenders on it. You've got the Wiccan symbol for goddess there, which is lovely. That's also in one of my handbags. It is a size medium and it is just a touch too small. I'd rather large than small because I can take it somewhere to get it altered. The one thing I didn't like with this is the material that they made the suspenders out of. They've just got no give and I would have preferred an elastic -y material like normal suspenders are that have a little bit of give in them and you can put your hand and stretch and they move when your body Moves. There is zero give in these. They are adjustable, thank fuck. <laughs> Apart from me ruining it, like on the front as well, before I even wore it. <laughs> that is so my style. If you don't know me, I'm incredibly clumsy. Recently, I backed our car into a rose bush slash tree. I thought it was a rose bush. It turns out it was a fucking tree, and it cost a thousand dollars to get the dent out. We just got it back from the smash repairs. I do shit like that all the time. This next stop is by Widow and it's quickly become one of my favorites. You guys have already seen it on Instagram. If you haven't, I'll put up the photo so you can see how I styled it. What got me was the cut of the collar. I love that. I'm not really a fan of the rounded collars. A lot of the brands tend to do that. I find that has a lot more edge. And it went so perfectly with the little spiderweb pins that I put on there. And those pins that you're seeing in the photo were from my girl's shop, Menku Gil. So I will put a link down below if you wanna go and grab yourself a pair. I think they were like $12 and she custom makes them by hand. Go and check out all of her spooky stuff. I got a medium in this and it fits perfectly. It's a little stretchy. It is midriff, so I tucked it into the widow's skirt, but this paired with the skirt with the suspenders. I'm like, I found my look. <laughs> I love it so fucking much. And my new thing is collar pins. I'll show you another pair that I bought from Dolls Kill recently. And they look so cute on this collar. I apologize if in every upcoming video I'm wearing that shirt because I love the shit out of it. Okay, so Australia is going into winter. Everyone else in America and Europe, you guys are going into your summer. So I'm getting ready for winter in this cool as fuck three-quarter faux fur jacket that had this massive skull and crossbone. I fell in love, I fell in love. And I got a small in this and I'm glad I did. You kind of just, it's a bit of a guess sometimes. So I could see that this was a very open cut and I knew I wanted it to look a little fitting. So I'm glad that I went with this small. It is so soft. And the inside lining says fake as fuck, which I think is really cool. It's a really soft satin lining. Does it have any pockets? Yes. I love my pockets in winter. My hands are always in my pockets. It gets quite cold here. We recently, recently as in two years ago, moved from Sydney to here and it gets a lot chillier. So something as cozy as this will be really practical. Oh, 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 oh. I thought I'd just do a bit of singing while the drilling noise passes. Okay, what is next in my washing basket? Literally, there's so much stuff to show you guys. I had to find it in my whole wardrobe. <laughs> that was an issue in itself. And put everything in a washing basket. I think putting this on directly after my Sephora haul is gonna be good fun. <laughs> I look forward to deleting a lot of comments. There ain't nothing wrong with shopping. Oh Lord, can you save me? Save me from myself. You can tell what I've been listening to. Okay, next up is More Current Mood, and I get the feeling that this is another sub-brand of Dolls Kill because the only place you can buy it is on Dolls Kill. For fuck's sake. 
We're just going to have to endure it, people. I got a medium. Really glad I did in this, even though it's stretchy. I haven't worn this yet. It's a little different for me, being red, the dragon print, but I like it. I figure I'll make it work. I'm just going to figure out how to wear it. And with me, that is as much fun as buying the item. It's finding how to wear it and finding how to jazz it up with accessories and make it look my own. Because yes, we can all run out and buy the same top, but it's how we wear it. It's the attitude behind it. It's what we pair it with. And that is what makes fashion so individual. So even if we do all run off to Dolls Kill or Killstar and buy the same fucking thing, it's gonna look different because we are all individuals.